He has the capabilities of really turning this team around. In this video, we are going to talk about his tactics and the players he will utilize. Now, looking at the tactics, a 3-4-3 makes the most sense. That's what we've seen him do at Sporting. So he'll most likely do the same at United. Now, granted, it is a different league. So sometimes this may take a little bit to adapt into the league. But that being said, looking at the players, it makes the most sense that he would go with players that we have on the board right now. Now, now between the sticks, we don't really say much about that. He will be the starting goalkeeper. During the transfer window, he may look to bring someone else, but currently he will be the number one. Now, the back three, this could change just slightly because, again, these guys can rotate around if we really need to. But Martinez, Yarrow, and Delict will most likely be the pairing CBs for the back three because of these three players are capable of going forward if they need to to help in the attack but they are able to actually play the ball long as well to again break the lines down when they need to we will talk about those tactics a little bit later in this video Midfield, it makes most sense to see these four players. Now, yes, you could argue these four players because United do have multiple players that can play these positions. But in my opinion, and what Ruben will most likely utilize are these four guys. Now, Shaw out on the left side, he will be able to adapt more as defensive side on this left side. Yes, he can go forward and do some overlapping runs. That isn't his strength for the most part. But again, if he can actually allow it to be played in this back line here he's actually able to help rotate these players a little bit and actually have the lick move into the midfield as well so this will give them a little bit more of extra formation which like i said we have seen teams do this where they do use one of the cbs to push into the midfield ruben also would like to do this so therefore again he can move to lick into this he can move martinez into that and even euro could also move up into that line as well now the midfield with the centering of the sixth and the eighth Ugarte makes the most sense because of his age and the stamina that he has because this is going to be a position that needs a lot of stamina. Yes, Casemiro can play his position, but the age and his legs are not going to allow him to play a match in week in and week out. So therefore, Ugarte will most likely be the player that plays there. Casemiro will get minutes in this position, but like I said, this guy's going to make the most sense. He's going to hold this line right here to help out the defensive side and be the CDM, but also he's able to move forward as well to help cycle the ball from left to right depending on what they need to do as well now manu will also be the player that will be next to him as at a position this guy also helps defensive wise so again in defensive side these two players can really lock down that midfield and even have shaw help out here but they're also able to go forward we've seen this player be very creative dribbling but also he can play some balls through balls to the players up front and he can even have a shot from outside the box so again he is able to be very creative in that position now erickson will most likely be the other guy that can play that spot as as well he has very similar roles but same thing as Casemiro age is not on his side so again we need to rotate these players and having the younger sides in there makes more sense now Maserati on this right side he's the opposite of Shaw he's able to go more forward in my humble opinion he's not as great going defensively wise but like I said he's able to actually add into the attack we even saw Eric Ten Hag use him quite a bit now yes he could switch to this left side and play out there as well as a left wing back but for this sake we're going to use him on the right side so with him actually allowing to move up forward here he can do overlapping runs with Garnacho who's ever in this position attack the inside the box also play a ball into the cross now yes this is an area that could be actually taken advantage by the other team because as he moves forward this could leave a massive gap in this side of the pitch but like I said these players would be moving up as well to hold that line as well now the attacking third Garnacho, Fernandez, and Hoyland make the most sense because these three players are capable of doing what he exactly needs now Hoyland is able to be that very physical striker he can attack the defense but he can also drop back and actually play some one twos with these players who can actually run onto the ball as well so we will almost see these three players be also rotating quite a bit around for the most part so again what you're seeing here currently is things that could change throughout the entire match which is going to be very difficult to defend because if Garnacho moves out to this side and starts attacking on this left side he can then swap back to this right side and start attacking he's going to be able to be very creative wherever he is think about CR7 back in 2008 now again they're not exactly the same player I do understand that but he does have the capability of dribbling past players driving in into the box and creating chances by himself and scoring goals so therefore again with his speed his dribbling capabilities and his all-around physical abilities he is going to be hard to defend for the most part and Ruben is definitely going to give him a lot of freedom now speaking of Fernandez too he will act as the second striker almost shadow striker behind Hoyland so again they may play a lot of one two balls where Austin he plays it to Hoyland does make a run and actually runs onto that and hopefully he can find the back net 
under Eric Ten Hag. He did almost play this role already, just not hasn't found the back net as much as he probably should. So hopefully Ruben can get this guy to start scoring goals. If that is a capability, United can be very scary going forward. But overall, these three players make the most sense, which means Rashford will not be in the starting 11. I do feel, yes, he's a good player, but he doesn't offer all the roles that these three players offer. And therefore, again, will most likely be an impact sub currently. Now, granted, things could always change. But that being said, these three players make the most sense. Now, attacking-wise, in case the team is doing a low block, all these players would move up. And this is what I was saying, where Delict will most likely move into this position and we'll probably see almost a 2-1-4-3 where again they're going to be able to cycle the ball some of these players are going to be able to push up a little bit more and therefore again have multiple options to break the lines here with multiple players and again Hoyland is going to be that beacon for everyone to get the ball to who again can then just drop the ball to other players and therefore run into the back of the line and also find the back net he is going to be the guy that people are going to really have to start worrying about and yes once he starts finding the back net he is going to be a very lethal shot striker very difficult to defend because like I said once he gets that confidence going he is very hard to actually defend now that being said though if we look at the fence wise though if we drop players back the other thing that we are going to see with this side then too is actually how they can counter so again if they start dropping back for the most part you're going to see these players coming back here and look at this so as the back line drops here it's very defensive wise but the reason why is because if they win the ball back in any of these areas and all these players, so Onana, Yoro, Delict, Martinez, Shaw, and Maserati can all play the ball over the top to Hoyland or even Garnacho. So again, if they are doing a quick counterattack, these guys can really hit the ball up, have Garnacho run onto it. Hoyland, Bruno Fernandez can be running behind. He plays a ball in and a quick counterattack can lead to a goal. We've seen this time and time again. We've seen other teams do this. Manchester United are going to be able to do this as well with this current formation. Now, overall, this side can be very scary once he does get his tactics implemented into this side because fortunately these players are the perfect players for him he doesn't really have to go and buy too many players during the january transfer window yes he obviously may have some injuries but if these guys can stay fully fit this will be the side that will be very difficult to beat and therefore again united could be a scary team now currently they are sitting 12 points off first which is four games not that many points off actually when you think about it if they start growing in confidence, start winning matches, and go on a little bit of a winning streak, they could be a team that could be very feared later this season in the league itself. And they could still make top four, which seems almost remarkable to say right now. But that being said, it is still very early in the season. So the fact that United got rid of Eric Ten Hag this early does implement the fact that they can still have a driving force later in this season. So I do want to know, what do you think? Do you think United have a chance yet this season? Do you think Ruben Almiron is the guy to change things for United to get them back on the winning track? Or do you think there's someone else that is a better fit for Manchester United? I do want to know what you think. 